basically I got a call. I I already knew Andy Pryor. Right. I'd met him for a few things. I think he helped cast me in a couple of things before. So when I, um, I heard it was for Doctor Who, and I'd been going through a bit of a lean patch, to say the least. That's very honest of you. <sighs> they call it resting. It's not very restful when you're like, I've got to sell the house. But anyway, anyway it's not. It never got as bad as that. But um, So I got called to go in and read for both these parts. I already knew they were going to be Silurians, but I didn't know what type. I only knew the original John Pertwee Silurians. Um, so I just kind of got what I could out of what, what sort of pages they'd given me for yeah. it. Went and did it. Thought I did really abysmally badly. They showed me this beautiful sort of picture of what a lion was going to look like and stuff, and it's very sexy and all that. I almost got that, but uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, they, to my to greatly to my surprise, they gave me the job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're, that's a very Scottish thing. <laughs> it was very much to my surprise, but I don't know. It's one of those things. So I, I like every time I come out of the spotlight offices thinking that I did really badly, and honestly thinking that I did badly in a in an audition. I seem to kind of get it. So <laughs> the most of many. So you were familiar with the Silurians then? You mentioned John Pertwee. Yeah, yeah, because I mean I was growing up as a kid. That was our Saturday night because you either had whatever. Um, was on Saturday before like Wonder Woman, depending on what time of year it was, or Six Million Dollar Man and stuff, but always after that you had Doctor Who, and that was the time to think, for me, 